Mark uh, Stevens proved to be the team that thought they'd be a tough yeah. opponent, uh, but your girls found a way to get it done as they have all year long. Talk about today's match. Yeah, um, they're they're well coached, well organized. They had a ton of veteran kids returning. And the way they play us is just causes us some challenges sometimes where we have to alter a little bit of what we do to to be able to sustain what we want to do for 90 minutes. And I, I thought we did it in spurts tonight. I don't think we're the best um, in every facet of it, but uh, but we did what we had to do and got enough on the board that we could sustain it. Emma just always seems to have that ability to finish, and we needed that today, and it worked out. Yeah, and special players make for special results. And we say it all the time. If you have those special kids, a couple things can go wrong in a match, and they'll still find a way to make you dangerous and give you the opportunity to get a, get a win. Um, and it's, it's not just her. It's those couple kids that are in behind her that always keep feeding the ball. You know, Kaylee pulling and stretching players to the weak side of the field, which frees her up a little bit. So it's a, it's a team effort, but Swites always steps up big for us. How about the, your defense? Just They see different looks out of Stevens, but they have the ability to do some things, and that middle's been rock solid in there with the freshmen. Yeah. Uh, and, of course, Zoe does an incredible job back there, too. Yeah, our defenders do a good job of, I think, making things predictable. You know, you, you can't always keep things in front. You can't always keep players where you want them. But we do a pretty good job of keeping um, players in spots where it's predictable for our keeper on how to read things coming in behind. And I thought they did a really good job for the most part of that. You know, we're unfortunate to give up the handball in the box, but uh, it's a freshman mistake, and we need to learn how to keep our hands down in the box. And that's how we learn. That's how we develop. Congratulations. Thank you. Appreciate it. Emma Schweitzer with us here in the Job and Goal Show. Somehow you do it again. Mm -hmm. Talk about that ability to finish today in a game where you needed goals. It all comes from the people behind me. They get me the ball. They they keep the their forwards out of the net, and it, without them, I wouldn't be able to do it. At this stage of the year, it's everybody's getting a little banged up, a cramp, an ankle, a knee. Whether it's your team or their team, talk about the ability to just try to stay on the field. It's not easy. Right. We just need to manage our injuries. If we need a couple minutes off in the second half, he'll give it to us. And now we have a couple of days off before NCAA, so we'll be able to. Get yep. healthy. You have a great mixture of upper class, and there's a couple young players that sit in. Let's talk a little bit about like Brenna Field in the back, that yeah. freshman. She has been rock solid all year. Brenna's just an incredible defender. She Nobody gets by her, and I think she works really well with the defenders we have right now and fits in, and I'm excited to play with her for the next couple of years. Let's talk about some of the other girls up front. Colleen really been active the mm -hmm. last couple of games and just put some balls across and, and yeah. staying busy. Yeah, Colleen has never played forward before, and this season, is she's playing incredible and I think she's just learning the role and getting those those balls into the, the midfield and other forwards and scoring goals. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Brenna and Kate Field with us. So freshman, senior? Fifth year. But Fifth yeah. year graduate, whatever you want to call it. What's it like uh, to play with your sister? She has been so amazing this year as a freshman. I'm sure you're really proud of her. Yeah, it's been a great experience getting to play with her. Um, I, I trust her in the back line. She's very technical, very clean, and I know she's going to get the job done whenever she's out there. So it's just been great being able to play with her. Brenna, did your sister prep you a whole lot, or is just you, you came in and just kind of got your feet wet? Talk a little bit about what was it like first year. Uh, Side, you got Zoe on the other, talk a little bit about just having that connection in the back. Um, it's really solid. I love working with both of them. And it's just, it was just really easy to get along with them and like know how they play. And it's obviously we've been working ever since we did this. Okay, getting uh, some of the younger girls up to speed, you know, some girls maybe didn't have enough experience or a couple first-year players. Talk a little bit about just trying to make them feel comfortable and make sure they're playing, getting up to the level where you need them to get up to. Yeah, so just talking with them constantly, like when uh, instructing them how we play and teaching them if they don't understand something, like, and just going over with it, going over with it with them over and over again until it clicks, and, you know, just encouraging them cheering them on whenever they're starting to get it because then the confidence just builds up from there. How about your folks coming here all the time? Lots of support you get from yes, them. Yes, yes. My dad's always here and then my mom comes when she can, so it's really great. Congratulations. Thank you.